Bonnie, happy Monday. I actually have a couple fun videos for you today. I have a haul coming later that has not yet arrived from Bath & Body Works in the mail. Yay, actually I have two boxes coming, so I'll do a haul later. But a lot of people have been asking on my feed if I would do a video on which retired scents I would like brought back to Bath & Body Works. So check it out. Oh my gosh, look at this huge bin. <laughs> I actually grabbed a whole bunch of stuff off my shelves and kind of got it a little bit organized here so I can talk about what I'd like. You never know, Bath & Body Works could be watching these YouTube videos, so I suggest um, if you want a scent that you'd like brought back, put it in the comments. You never know if they're going to read it. <laughs> I also have a couple requests for like new scents that I would love to see. So I'm going to kind of go by season here. I think, <laughs> if I can get organized. Um, so right now, Bath & Body Works is currently bringing back their Tropical Collection, um, which is good. I really love this Tropical Collection. They have so many good things. I started picking up a lot of the little minis. They're bringing back the Bally Black Coconut Sands. They're bringing back Waikiki Beach Coconut. They're adding some new stuff. Oh, they're also bringing back Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Um, so that's all really good. Um, I just wanted to talk about a couple of scents, though, here for spring that I had in previous years. So I didn't really start collecting Bath & Body Works um, until, like, maybe, like, three or four years ago. Up until then, I would, like, you know, the rest of the population, I would basically just buy it, <laughs> use it, and then um, that's it. But now that I'm vlogging, I'm collecting more, and it's kind of nice because that way I can give you guys kind of a vantage point of what's been here. So, spring scents. Oh my gosh. So, I want to say this was maybe like 2017. I don't remember when they brought this out, you guys. Um, Tutti Dolce. This collection is absolutely amazing. There's also a lemon one, but I no longer have the lemon. This is all I have left of my Tutti Dolce line, and I want more. Um, I believe they have brought this back a couple times, but this was a really wonderful line from Bath & Body Works. So this one is actually Pink Peony Cream. It smells so good. Um, we've got Golden Honey Praline. These are still good, by the way. And then I have the White Mocha Kiss. Um, I don't have the notes on these because they're the minis and they don't have the notes. But this is a really neat line. They also had, like I said, a lemon one. So I will be totally fine if they bring back the Tutti Dolce line at any time. Summer, you know, spring, fall. <laughs> I doubt if they bring it back in the fall. A um, couple of other retired lines. Packaging-wise, I loved this line, you guys. Um, this was that, it was called the Steam Distilled Natural Magnolia Oil. Uh, they had magnolia oil, rose oil, and chamomile oil. It's funny, because these are more florals, but do you guys remember these? Um, they had all these cute little ladybugs on them. I don't know if I necessarily want this line back, but I just wanted to show you the packaging because it was gorgeous and kind of um, spark anyone's memory if uh, this is a favorite on anyone's list. Like I said, there you had Pink Magnolia, Wild Rose and Apple, and Chamomile and Honey. I think the Chamomile and Honey was my favorite. Look at how pretty the uh, fine fragrance mists were with the little bugs on them. Um, this one was actually... Uh, magnolia oil, jasmine petals, wild orchid, and sheer musk. So it was a floral. Oh, that's pink magnolia. Which one Which one was I saying that? Um, oh, chamomile and honey. This was my favorite. This was actually um, chamomile oil, fresh bergamot, sweet honeysuckle, and white cider. It didn't really have honey in it. But um, these are florals. But I don't know. This one kind of smelled... You know what this one smells like to me? It smells like honeycomb which is kind of interesting, but those are kind of neat. I just wanted to show you guys those. Um, another line that I actually liked was this Paris. Um, I don't know if it was a Paris line or a travel line. I always thought these were really cool. Um, 
Bonjour Paris was, um, it says the origin, <laughs> inspired by macaroons at a Paris cafe. This is pink sugar cane, whipped marshmallow, candied orange blossom, honeysuckle, white honeysuckle, and fluffy amber. I really liked this one, you guys. These are still good, too. I really like this one. This one, this one smells really good. This kind of reminds me, oddly enough, of, um... Marshmallow Magic a little bit. I wonder if that's kind of a cousin, but I like this packaging. Look how pretty that was. And then they had one called Rose Champagne that is actually sparkling clementine, crisp bergamot, apple blossom, pink pepper, and blonde woods. Um, this kind of reminds me of Champagne Toast a little bit, but it's called Rose Champagne. Um, they brought all those rose scents out. I don't think this is one of them, though. I like this packaging, though. Um... The Sea Tax Collection. I actually like the Sea Tax Collection for summer. Um, this is actually a seaweed uh, powered moisturizing body cream. And um, there's really no notes in it. A lot of people said this reminded them of the new uh, Saltwater Breeze. So I just wanted to smell this. It does a little bit, you guys. I like this like mermaidy inspired. Um, line though. That was a really cool line. I would take that back. I mean, definitely for summer, you know, Seatox is really neat. Maybe they could put a different spin on it. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, it's funny. I found these too. Pink Lily. Remember this line? Pink Lily and bamboo and fresh sea salt mango. I like the mango, you guys. This one was fresh mango, sea salt breeze, sun-kissed clementine, watery musk, and orange blossom. Um, I'm trying to think if one of the new scents has some mango in it. I gotta go through these more. This smells really good though. It's like a, it's almost like saltwater breeze with a hint of mango. It's kind of really, it, it's nice. It's like a fruity, um, salt, like sea, sea breeze. <laughs> and then pink lily and bamboo. You know, it's funny. Pink lily and bamboo. I was just thinking, I don't have those up here anymore. Maybe I do. Where did I put those? Um... Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like jammed in here so bad, you guys, for products. <laughs> oh, here. That was, you know what? I never realized this, you guys. I didn't realize that Pink, Lily, and Bamboo was, remember they brought this out last year, Pink, Lily, and Bamboo? They called it Tahiti, but it's actually the Pink, Lily, and Bamboo for a couple years ago. And this is the Wild Lily pel Petals, Bamboo Leaf, Pink Ginger, Fresh Fig, and Sauna Wood. So, kind of interesting, you guys. These are the same scents. Had no clue. <laughs> How funny is that? But they did not bring this one back. Um, I don't mind this one. Oh, right up my nose. <laughs> um, this is that nice fig scent to it. But I just thought that was really interesting because... You know what? Bath and Body Works, sometimes they do bring stuff back in repackages, and it's so complicated. I'm going to do Christmas next, you guys. Um, sometimes it's a little bit complicated to figure out because there's so many different scents, and they bring stuff back in different packaging, so um, it's a little crazy. Um, they did not bring back Havana this year. This is that Tropical Vanilla and Cherimoya. Tropical Vanilla, Cherimoya Fruit, Tear Flower... Uh, bergamot and ocean drift. I loved this one. Oh, up my nose again. A lot of people did not like this one. I actually have the entire collection. I have the, um, the, uh, where did I put it? Oh, I have the, um, the body cream. This is probably at least half full. I have the mist and I have the lotion, which I'm pretty excited that I have a set of that because they did not bring it back. Um, for fall, you guys, oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works, please bring back pumpkin picking. Or, it was funny, I just saw this one online. I was kind of looking through some of the old online stuff. Holy moly. Um, I found this on Amazon. Check that out. This was, look at this, pumpkin cupcake. They had a pumpkin cupcake body care line. I totally don't remember that. That must have been a long time ago. But bring back pumpkin cupcake or pumpkin picking in body care. I would love one of these. Um... There was another one for fall, and I can't find it. Whipped vanilla, and I'm missing the last word on it. Um, but that was a really good one. Um, I'm really hoping for fall they give us at least one nice sweet pumpkin scent. 
other than sweet cinnamon pumpkin. That's kind of my wish for fall, you guys. <laughs> um, I like the toasted praline. They could bring that one back. That's fine. Um, I just want to make sure we, we get something with sweet pumpkin in it because this one is almost gone. I love this. Stuff. This is so good. Um, for Christmas, oh my gosh, I'm already speculating for Christmas already. I really hope they bring back the Bright Lemon Snowdrop and Santa's Blueberry Shortbread because I don't think Christmas will ever be the same if we don't have these two scents back. <laughs> I'm like, we have to have them. Oh my gosh. I still, you know, behind Strawberry Pound Cake, I think the uh, Bright Lemon Snowdrops is like one of my all-time favorite scents. Um, I will take Christmas Cocoa and Mint back anytime you want to bring it. You know what would be really neat, you guys, I decided... What if they did, like, a um, a retired... You know how they have retired scents out all the time? Oh, Coco. Um, wouldn't that be really neat if they brought back, like, a retired Christmas scent line where you could buy them online? That would be really cool. <laughs> I'm just speculating here. Um, to, oh, Spiced Gingerbread Swirl. I will take Spiced Gingerbread Swirl. I still have... This is the only thing I have left. I think I have a Diamond Shimmer Mist, too. A spiced gingerbread swirl, but this one is 2018 um, warm ginger snap, fresh nutmeg, orange zest, orange zest, spiced brown sugar, and roasted tonka. <gasps> this one smells so good. Bring back gingerbread. Also for Christmas, I would love to see a butter rum eggnog body care line. Oh my gosh. This is like one of my all-time favorite Bath and Body Works candles. I only have one of them. And this one is actually spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, and rich buttercream. It's perfect. It would be an amazing body care line, you guys. I mean, it's like that eggnog, spicy, just totally Christmassy. I love this scent. Please bring this in a body care. <laughs> um, the other ones that I really liked are Marshmallow Magic, which I think is a redo of something. This is actually vanilla cream, crisp lavender, and marshmallow musk. I was kind of wondering, I gotta kind of smell this again, if this was um, related to, no, it's not Dream in the Sky at all. Totally different. I kind of like this one though, the marshmallow magic. That one is pretty good. And then I would not be upset if they brought back cocktail dress. This one is the crystal peonies, bright mandarin, sheer cedar, and velvet musk. This is definitely a nice one. I like this one for like, um, end of holiday season. Isn't that cute with the, looks like a little cocktail dress. <laughs> I thought that was really pretty. And then here's, I think one of my number one requests for body care other than eggnog, pink petal tea cake. I have a, an unburned pink petal tea cake right here. This does smell amazing. So this one is actually pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And you know me, I don't like florals. However, this one smells really, really good. I don't know if it's because they're mixing it with the pound cake and the vanilla, but this one smells amazing. It doesn't smell like straight on, you know, like rosy flowers. It's got a really pretty, um, beautiful, like cakey scent to it. Um, this would make a really, really neat body care line. I would love a, like a fine fragrance mist in that. That would be awesome. So, um, gosh, this video went long. Holy cow, you guys. I'm just chatting away. Um, like I said, those are kind of some stuff. I, like I said, Tootie Dolce, um, Pink Petal Tea Cake and Body Care, Pumpkin Picking or Pumpkin Cupcake. Those are like my number one, like, most requested bring back things. And then something that they don't have, uh, I would love to see the butter rum eggnog in a body care. So that's my wish list. Post your wishes below. I just want to see, I can't, I, I, I love seeing what everyone wants in a body care line or a candle. It's so much fun. So anyway, I will have my haul later. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.